requirements for this assignment state that your photo needs to have one part of the photo in color while the rest of the photo is in black and white. And in order to do that, we're going to need to play with multiple layers. So you're gonna need to have more than one layer. So here's how we're gonna make this happen. I took a photo of a basketball. There it is, right there, okay? The next step I'm going to do is if I look over here on this right hand side, you'll see that I have a background. These are where all my layers are. You see that layers tab right there? This is my background. What I need to do is I need to click on that background and then I'm gonna go up to layer right here and I'm gonna click on that and I am going to go to duplicate layer. You can also press control plus J, but I'm gonna do duplicate layer. So I click on that. So now you'll see I have two layers. I have a background copy and I have my background. Whatever layer is on top, I'm gonna click on that top layer, my background copy, okay? I can double click on this and change it and maybe I wanna change it to black and white. So all I need to do is double click and I can change what this layer is called. So I'm gonna call this layer black and white. So when I click on that, now I'm gonna go up to image. I'm gonna to go to adjustments. If I go all the way down to desaturate, what desaturation means is that it's going to turn my photo black and white. My top photo is black and white. When I press on this eye right here, it gets rid of that top photo. It basically closes my eyes or blinds that top photo. It mutes that top photo. So my top photo is black and white. If I turn that off, you can just see my bottom photo and my bottom photo is in color. If I turn them both off, I just get a black and white checkered screen, okay? I'm gonna turn both of them on again. The next step I'm going to do is I'm gonna go over to this left-hand column. This is where we added our text earlier with the T. Now I'm gonna look for the eraser. And the eraser is this button right here, and I'm gonna click on that, okay? When I go up top, I can have all different kinds of erasers. I'm gonna use the brush, and then I can click right here and I can click on my size of my brush, how hard it is, what kind of erasing I want to do. I want the hardness at 100% and I want my eraser to be pretty big, okay? I have my big circle, that's my eraser right there. I have my two layers, I have my black and white layer and my background layer. What I essentially am going to do is I'm just going to erase the black and white layer where my basketball is at. So if I just click right there, you'll see it's becoming color, but what's actually happening is I'm just erasing the basketball from my photo. But since I have the color photo underneath, I am erasing the black and white and the color is coming through. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go around. If I want to get close, I can press Control plus and I can get really, really close and make sure that I'm following the lines properly. Remember, if I mess up and I go outside the lines, I can just press Control z I can also go back up here Say I go ahead and do that. Oh, I mess up. I just click on this eraser tool right there. And then I just go back to where I want and I can redo this portion. So I'm gonna go ahead and erase this. I tend to just normally just get nice and big at the beginning, just like this, where I can just kind of like go through and just make a big circle and just get the big chunks. I'm gonna press my control minus and that's gonna get me zoomed out. So I essentially have big chunks done right now. Oh, this is close. Ah, I messed up. I do that whole thing over again. That's a big reason why I would kind of let go every now and then, just so that if you press Control Z after you've done a lot, you don't end up losing a lot. So let me just finish this up. Once I get like a good portion of that done, I'm gonna go back up to here and I'm gonna make my circle a little bit smaller. So now I can get really in there and when I go to Control plus plus, click off to the side and do Control plus plus, I can get really, really close and I can do that effectively. If I need to scroll up and down, I can just move my two fingers on the mouse pad. 
and it'll scroll up and down. And then once again, control plus gets me closer, control minus gets me zoomed out. There you have it. I have successfully erased that basketball. Once again, if I just go ahead and click on this background and I mute my color photo, you'll see that all I essentially did was just erase the basketball from the black and white photo. You want to make sure that you're erasing from the black and white photo, okay? So I have my background. That is my color. When I get rid of that, I should just have a checkered background there. And when I make my color visible again, you'll see that I have a basketball that is fully in color.